Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of input-output tables. This is standard 4.5b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 34 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here and we have some input numbers and some output numbers and we have a number machine. So the only thing we're missing is the rule. So they're going to give us four different rules we need to look at and we need to see which one helps us find the output when we use the input to start with. So that means we're looking side to side. We're not looking up and down. So let's just do this. Let's just start with our input of... Those are pretty easy inputs. One, two, three, four. And I'm just going to use what they give us for A. So A gives us, or actually it's F. That's our first option is F instead of A. It's a minus 9. So if we take our minus 9, as you can tell, that's going to get us some negative numbers. That's really not going to work for us. We're supposed to get our output of 10, 11, 12, and 13. Maybe if we would add those, we would be fine. But 1 minus 9, that's going to get you a minus 8. Think of a thermometer, and you're starting at 1 degree, and it goes down 9 degrees. You're going to get into negative 8. That's negative 7. That's negative 6. And that's negative 5. So that's the opposite of what we're wanting. Obviously, if we were to add that, we would be good. Let me tell you why they think that's a good tricky answer. Because if we did a minus 9 right here, 10 minus 9 equals 1. And 11 minus 9 does equal 2. 12 minus 9 equals 3. And 13 minus 9 equals 4. But you notice how we're going from right to left? That's not how we add or subtract. We don't subtract right to left. We subtract left to right. And we don't go from our output to our input. We start here. That's why it's called the input. We start with our input. So that's why it's incorrect, because they just go the opposite direction. But we've at least eliminated one of our answer choices. Let's go to G. And we've got inputs, once again, of 1, 2, 3, and 4 times 10. So 1 times 10, that equals 10. That's good. 2 times 10, uh, 20. Nope, we needed 11. So the times 10 works with the first one, and that's the only one it works with. So that's why you have to do more than just one. Because if you just did a times 10, you're like, yes, G works. But it only works with the first input, not the rest. So it's not G. Let's hope it's H or J. So H, and we're going to do a 1, 2, 3, and 4. We're going to multiply by 4. Multiply by 4. And I'm not sure why they would think this is a good incorrect answer because... It just doesn't work. 1 times 4 is 4, not 10. 2 times 4 is 8, not 11, 12. None of these even come close to getting our outputs. So those are just wrong on all four instances. So H is just wrong. So let's really hope it is J. If not, we have made a mistake. So let's see. 1, we got 2, 3, 4 once again. They want our rule to be a plus 9. So plus 9, plus 9, and let's check it out. So 1 plus 9, 10, yes, that's good. 2 plus 9, 11, yes, that's good. 3 plus 9, 12, that's good. And then, yep, we've got a 13 as our 4 plus 9, that is good. So you notice we've got a plus 9 here. We notice when we did this F, this minus 9, that we were, we were kind of close if they would have just flipped that. So this works instead of a minus 9. Let's just make this a plus 9. And that is our rule of plus 9. We finally figured it out. Our answer here is going to be J plus 9. 